Hello, Biotube. Optimus Primal, or Optimus Prime, as a gorilla. He is ever so slightly shorter than a modern leader class figure, though he is taller than Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. He's about on par with commanders from the Beast Era. Being an early modern Transformer, he has most of the articulation you would expect from a modern Transformer. Give him some swivels here and there and some ankle tilt and he'd be just as poseable as Generations figures today. One thing he does better than most figures today is have ample weapon storage and gimmicks. As you can see, he has a mace and some flip-out missile launchers. He has four spring-loaded missiles, all of which fire off pretty well. The two missiles for his left arm cannon store behind his head, and the mace stores in his right arm. He also has a lever on his back that waves his arms around. And you can use this switch to have him beat his chest in beast mode. Imagine being a gorilla. He's about as large as a modern leader class figure in beast mode. I guess 97 was quite the year for black, red, white, and blue descendants of Optimus Prime, even if that's not what Gal Gygar is fictionally. But it's still an interesting point of contrast. Optimus Primal and Beast Wars on a whole really delivered on giving you the gimmicks and the posability. Which is why, even though I would never have picked up Kingdom Optimus Primal, I picked up the original one. While modern figures are technically more articulated and so on and so forth, they don't really capture the magic that these 90s toys had. And that's why most of the time I prefer Vintage to Generations. They just don't make them like they used to. Links below.